Greetings, folks. Mark Anthony Kay here, and as you can see, I have my partner in crime, Mr. Joe Bailey, with me. So Hello. we're just here. We're just <laughs> we're here to uh, talk to you guys a bit about uh, the record. As you know, uh, it is coming out on June twelfth. Uh, we're very excited about it. Um, you know, the, the the hype machine is starting. From what I understand, there's going to be a review of uh, Fool's Gold coming out on a review site that I know about so called Something Else Reviews. Uh, once that comes up, I'm sure I'll make a posting about it and see what uh, the media are starting to think of our songs. And of course, I've started putting out some feelers uh, and some advanced copies of the album out to people, namely Mr. Pete, o uh, Pete, Pete O'Neill, I think his name is, his full name, Yes. Uh, from Check It Out. And uh, he'll be doing our debut of the whole record, actually. So he'll have first cracks at it. But uh, I'm sure lots of people will be making comments about it. So uh, big t big day coming up for us, eh, Joe? Yeah, yeah. It's nice that he's playing the whole the whole album on it as well, because that's something he never does, isn't it? So yeah, it's a very, uh, very special album. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, when he first told me that he was going to do uh, a complete playing of it, I was like... I almost will have to go back and reread it. Like, did I read that right? He's going to play the whole thing. Like, he's never done that, you know? And it's not because it's, you know, we have like a 20-minute record or something. It's We have a full, you know, 45 minutes here. So yeah. it's uh, it's something that he rarely does. But uh, he did mention that he really enjoyed it, that he's listened to it over supper many times, apparently, this record already. Oh, that's so, good. Yeah, so he's really enjoyed it, and he, he has a strong feeling about it. Wonderful. Yeah. So um, I, I guess basically um, what, what I'm thinking about in this is that we should mention probably Stee, who did our artwork for this. I think he's done some fantastic work for it. Um, I'll probably put up a little clip here where my finger is that you can see a little bit of the artwork from the uh, album that's coming out. And, and he did a great job. I know we, did, we posted a video a couple of episodes back uh, where we showed uh, Joe and Steve and Charlotte going around uh, doing their little photo sessions. I thought that that was a fantastic thing to post. Uh, something that I love seeing whenever I see bands doing the making of. So uh, how about re giving a short recap of that day, how that day went for your photographing there? Uh, that was fun. Um, me and Steve, have, we've known each other for a long time, like since we were kids, since we were about four. So it's a, lot, oh, wow. a long time. Yeah. Um, so we've, we're, we're a pair of idiots together. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's always, always, a, always a laugh when the two of us are out and when Charles with us, the three of us are just nuts. So it was nice going around all those places. Steve, Steve knew exactly where he wanted to go. So, and he had all the, his, had the vision in mind. So yeah, it came together nicely and it was fun. It was a fun day, fun couple yeah, of days, I should say. Yeah, it was interesting because I liked the way you kind of like narrated it and showed like, you know, all the little, little uh, segments, even showed how, you know, how boggy some of the ground was where you guys are going. Like you guys were going like you were going like anywhere and everywhere to just get that perfect kind of picture, which I thought was fantastic that you guys were willing to do that. And then, of course, the humor was what made me crack up like that whole part when you were walking by that lighthouse and you were going to Charlotte, you know, show us your cape you know when you're doing a construction <laughs> worker guys kind of thing that was hilarious yeah <laughs> so it's just childish humor is the best humor isn't it <laughs> yeah exactly so uh, i thought it was definitely a, a a fun moment and uh you know i i'm i'm a big appreciator of those kinds of things uh, as well so um again uh the record coming out june 12th uh for me as i mentioned before uh, I'm a big fan of the whole record. Still, my favorite has to still be Mother Earth. But I've, I've been noticing of late that uh, Hide and Seek has really also been kind of, you know, really sticking out for me as well. I mean, all of them have. But I mean, if there's one or two songs that have kind of really made me kind of smile a little bit more than the others is those two, I think. 
I think Joyride for, Joyride for me is the yeah. standout, apart from Mother Earth. But and originally Joyride wasn't the standout for me. So it, the more I've listened to it, the more I'm like, yeah, this is awesome. And it was a good, good uh, choice to make this the opener as well, wasn't it? So yeah, so Joyride, uh, one of the things I really thought was great about it was the, those sequences. I thought one of the things I really liked is because I'm a big fan of your music, obviously. And what was one of the reasons why, obviously, I contacted you to, to do this to begin with. And I thought that those were always the kind of things that I really enjoyed about it was that kind of, you know, attention to those details that I liked. And it's one of the things, though, that I think when we combined our writings together, it really turned it into something different. It's not a Joe Bailey kind of song. It's not a Project Gemini kind of song. It's definitely a Dark Monarchy kind of song. Yeah, I think all songs are like that. It's just the, um, the sort of like the coupling of both our styles has yeah. created just one massive style, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I think that it's a really, really good combination of writing styles. And, I, and I'm looking forward to what's going to happen you know, in the future when we do stuff. Now, obviously, before we move on to another record, we're going to put this one out and we're going to do a CD. And, uh, you know, after we get that out and start, you know, getting some interviews out and stuff like that, we'll we'll test the waters and see if a possible vinyl release ooh, of this record could come out. That'd be something that I'd be very interested in doing for sure. Yeah, that'd be great. Because it's a really good record. I think that we, I think it, it could work out. If we play our cards right, I think we'll do this. I think it'll be possible to do. Now, but before we get to that, I know that last time we spoke, um, you had been working on another record now. So any, yeah. any update on how that's going for you? Um, I haven't really done that much since what well, I've been through all the tracks. I, I think I said I had 10 last time. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, I think two of them were just little ideas, so I'm not going to count them. So it's probably about eight, mm -hmm. and I'll, I'm probably going to use about six of them. But I think the six that I've chosen are probably going to be the ones that make it to the album. So musically, I think it's written. So I've just got to do the lyrics now. Great. <clears throat> that's, that's amazing. I mean, I've been... Uh... I'm working on stuff too. I mean, I think I got kind of inspired by that whole 10 songs bit. I was like, wow, I'm like, you know, I, I got to get on my horse here a little bit too, because I have to work yeah. on something too. So um, I think I got about eight as well. But I mean, like, like I said, like similar, like to you, uh, the, the first two of them, one of them was like an idea. Uh, the second one is not a very long song, but it's going to be an essential part of what I need for it because I need one or two shorter pieces now for this next record. But it, it's it's going rather interestingly. I'm not musically as far. Everything that I have for each song is either drums complete and a scratch guitar or drums complete and a bass guitar or drums complete and a keyboard you know what I mean? Right. So that's how I kind of do it. Now it's just a matter of just building on top of those things now. Cool. I've so, also go on, carry go on. on. No, go on. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was just going to say that I'm, stylistically, uh, do you find that your record is uh, continuing from the last record or do you have a, is this a next step forward? Hmm, that's a good question. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It, it reminds me of more of like sort of price to pay. It's got more of a price mm -hmm. to pay feel to it. Um, Good record. So, thanks. Um, it's a bit more, a bit heavier than, than less than nothing. Yeah. A bit, um, a bit more drastic, dramatic oh. sounding. <laughs> Great. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's yeah. good. Yeah. I, I really, also... I really like those last two records. Good. But, well, it's, it's it's kind of a continuation, but um, but more so of um, price to pay. I don't think I'll ever um get back to the Nightingale days. I don't know. It's just I, it, I was in a zone when I wrote that album, and it just, just nothing I've written since sounds like it. It's just, I, and just and it's funny, because, yeah, because it's funny because that's the one record I've listened to quite a lot actually lately. I, I'm not sure what kind of happened was I had it on your page and I was I was going through there and I just kind of clicked on that one one time and I just seem to keep listening to it. I mean, it's very interesting that record. What do you, what do you think is uh what do you think is drastically different about that like that makes you say that you don't think you can get back to that? 
I don't know. It was just, I don't know whether it was maybe the, the whole the whole writing process. I can't really think of what what I did differently. Maybe it was just bands I was listening to. I know I was listening to Gaspacho heavily at that point as well. So that yeah. kind of probably um, influenced that. So yeah, I don't know. Oh, cool. It just that album just um, just came together really easily. Um, and also there was um, Charles, my sister Charles did. Um, some key solos on there and the trumpet solo as well so that's something that i haven't done since either so maybe i should get her back on board for the next album yeah it's it's interesting that trumpet bit was something that i wasn't expecting but it would fit perfectly in there yeah, you know? yeah. it was a last minute thing that as well because that song hieroglyph that section in the middle where the trumpet was there was it uh, and originally just went straight back into the final verse and then i just sort of cut it down the middle separated it just stuck that bit in there and shell did a trumpet solo over the top of it it worked yeah, yeah that definitely worked so it's interesting how these little last minute moments of inspiration come in to do it you know and then just make those songs that much better so that that's fantastic to hear i mean it's interesting because when you talk about not not being able to get back or not getting back to a place and at all as well now, I'm finding like that as well with sort of like one of my records, like the Man of Science, Man of Dreams record, the one that I did before book one. Uh, again, I, I that one I was very much in a zone for as well. Like all those songs came to me rather quickly. Even that 14 minute song, I knew from beginning to end that song, how it was going to be before I even played a single note of it, which was really very rare. I don't think I've had that happen to me since then again. So uh, yeah, it's a very interesting thing. So yeah, so keep your eyes open for uh, Joe's record. I'm sure he'll be coming out with one sooner than later, I'm sure. Uh, but this one will be coming out first, obviously. June 12th, we'll be getting out the self-titled debut of The Dark Monarchy. And we hope that you guys all check it out. And of course, give us your comments and let us know what you think of it. And we will be back again soon with another update from The Dark Monarchy. So on behalf of myself and Joe... We will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.